Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Tutorials for Beginner. Now in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can create login and registration in Laravel. So first of all, uh, in order to create login and registration, Laravel give us some command which let us easily create login and registration. So I write this command over here, here you can see we only need to write this five command and Laravel will automatically create login and registration for us. So for it, uh, first of all, we need to go to our project directory. So here you can see this is our project. So we are going to open a CMD over here. Let's say our CMD and press enter. And inside this command form, first of all, we need to write the command. So here the uh, our first command is composer require laravel slash jstream. So let me just copy this one and I'll paste it over here. And now if I press enter, it will start installing the important file to create login and registration after installing jstream we need to write the next command which is this one php addition jstream install library so let me just copy it ctrl c and i'll paste it over here and again i'll press enter here you can see the required file is also installed now all we have to do here it's written that please execute install uh, npm install and npm run dev which is uh, which we also have in, in this notepad so that our next command will be npm install so let's say over here npm install and if we press enter it will installing some required file after npm install we have another command which is npm run dev which is this one so let's write over here npm run dev and if you press enter it will install some file for this command now we have the last command which is php artisan migate this one so we are just going to say here php artisan migrate and we'll press enter so here you can see it migrated some table in our database so uh, here you can see the user table and it also create a session table as well so uh, if we now here you can see there is no login and registration option over here so if you now refresh this page this root page it will show us here you can see login and registration option over here and if you click login it will take us to login page and if you click register it will take us to register page now let me just show you this uh, root view over here let me just go back to our code and here you can see in the web.php uh, we call the root view from here and we are actually calling the welcome view and if you go to our home controller here you can see public function when welcome from here we are returning the welcome view so in the views we have welcome.blade.php and inside this we have this uh, here you can see dashboard here you can see login and register over here so from here we are actually showing this login and register now let me just uh, register from here let's just say uh, my name yamin and let's keep the email over here yamin uh, at the end of gmail.com let's give the password 8 one two three four five six seven eight and if you now click register here you can see it took us to the dashboard and let me here you can see we have profile and login option if you click profile inside profile you can see that we can uh, change our name and email we can also change our password and there's two factor authentication logout and also a delete account option over here now let me uh, we can also log out from here let me just log out and this time let's try to log in if you click login it will take us to login page so, so in the email we are going to say yamin at the of gmail.com and let's give the password on two three four five six seven eight and click login so here you can see this took us uh, to the dashboard now uh, let me just show you the dashboard in our code here you can see inside the views here you can see dashboard now this is actually this view and uh, if you want to see the login and registration view you need to go to views then here you can see all the jstream command created some new file over here if you go inside auth you will see login and registration blade over here 
so this is how you can actually create login and registration in laravel so in this tutorial i tried my best to show you every basic about laravel but if you want to get good knowledge on laravel then i would suggest you to make some project using laravel so i already created some laravel project in this channel uh, for beginners i created some e-commerce project and also hospital management system project in laravel for beginners so if you want to get more depth knowledge on laravel then i would suggest you to follow this tutorial i'll give the tutorial link uh, at the end of this video and also in the comment section so that you can just directly go there and watch the video playlist and create a laravel project so if you just create one or two laravel project then uh, you'll be able to create any project in laravel so i would highly suggest you to follow those tutorial so thank you very much for watching and uh, if you like this video and or this video series then subscribe this channel and stay tuned and stay healthy